Tim Burton's 1988 classic Beetlejuice is full of costume inspiration. We have a baby wearing a sandworm costume, and I'll tell you how we made it. It can be adapted for larger sizes, of course. Start with your all-white garment. It can be a t-shirt or a dress or a romper like this one. And stuff it or put cardboard in it so it's stretched out. And then tape off your stripes. Um, the sandworm has kind of thick stripes, so these are about three inches thick. And I just use the tape to be my guide. I don't actually do any measuring. Once you get the first stripe on there, then you can just line the rest up. Now we're going to paint our stripes with Versatex. That is a screen printing ink, but you can use it like a paint. And it's thicker than your standard textile paint, so it's going to go on uh, very well. It'll go on very dark, and it won't bleed under your tape at all. So uh, this process goes by pretty quickly. When it's all dry, remove your tape, and then you're done. You can also uh, just wear this afterwards. It's pretty cute. I want this tail to be removable, so I'm making a couple of tabs uh, that will attach to the tail, and then also buttons onto the costume. Uh, you just cut a rectangle of felt and then a couple slits that a button will fit through, and that's pretty much it. It's super simple. Your tail is just two triangles as well uh, sewn together, and then you will stitch the tabs on the top. If you don't sew, that's not a problem either. You can just use Jacquard's Lumiere 3D. That's a fabric paint, but it also works as a fabric glue, and it's super sturdy, uh, really wonderful glue. You can use it on all kinds of stuff. Now for the exciting part, the headpiece. I've made a bonnet, but you could just buy a hoodie if you wanted to, and then uh, apply a little brim, but... A bonnet is really easy to make if you've never made one. It's just like two capital letter D shapes and then a long rectangle that connects them and then a little brim. Um, I added some felt teeth as well. Now we need a second piece because the sandworm has two heads. So this is uh, just like a little triangle that we're going to apply to the back. But we want it to stand up straight, so we're going to use Jacquard's Fabric Sculpting Medium. This stuff is great for costume making. It um, is easily applied to the fabric, and you just drape it over whatever form you want the fabric to mold to, and then it dries hard. It's pretty cool. Okay, when that dries, then we're just going to stitch it in a couple places onto our hood. We're ready to go. I'm using Jacquard's textile color to paint the faces and the uh, dots and stripes onto the bonnet or hood of this costume. Even though we've uh, applied the textile sculpting medium, uh, the paint still adheres very nicely. This paint is super smooth and very vibrant. It's really easy to work with and I like it a lot. This is a pretty cute little sandworm, but there's no reason you couldn't make one that's scary. <laughs> it's rare to make something exactly the way you want it, and this is one rare worm. I'm 100% satisfied with this costume, and Jacquard Products made it pretty easy to make. I hope to see more sandworms out there. Do you 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 do